The Assyriology channel is dedicated to the study of ancient Mesopotamia and the ancient Near East. Today's video is going to be a very brief overview of some of the online tools that someone who is interested in learning about the field of Assyriology can use to explore the field of study. Four websites that are of primary interest include the CDLI, the ETCSL, ORAC, and the EPSD. The CDLI is a collaborative effort of the University of California, Oxford, and the Max Planck Institute for the History of Science in Berlin. The website contains a massive array of scanned cuneiform tablets. Some of the tablets contain transliterations and translations as well. The CDLI website also contains a number of other features, including the CDLI wiki. The search tools at the CDLI are very comprehensive and allow the user to search for cuneiform tablets in a number of different ways, including searching for all of the tablets that contain both transliterated and translated terms. The ETCSL stands for Electronic Text Corpus of Sumerian Literature. This website was created by the University of Oxford. It contains over 400 literary compositions that come from ancient Mesopotamia dating from the 3rd millennium BCE through the early 2nd millennium BCE. The ETCSL makes these texts available in both Sumerian transliterations as well as English translations. The name ORAC stands for Open Richly Annotated Cuneiform Corpus. The name is actually a Doctor Who reference. The website is the baby of Dr. Stephen Tinney of the University of Pennsylvania. It is a large collaborative effort that many scholars have contributed to. ORAC is a very large website with a wide variety of different tools and functions. I highly recommend spending some time exploring them. The EPSD stands for the Electronic Pennsylvania Sumerian Dictionary. This is another website that is the byproduct of the labors of Dr. Stephen Tinney of the University of Pennsylvania. The EPSD is the most comprehensive Sumerian dictionary available to date. The search matrix available on the left-hand side allows for the searching of terms both English to Sumerian as well as Sumerian to English. There is also a search bar for searching terms by Akkadian. One useful function of the EPSD and the ETCSL is their link to each other. So when you search a term at the EPSD, you can then search for all of the examples of that term at the ETCSL. Recently, Professor Tinney has launched and is still continuing to update the EPSD2, which is hosted under ORAC. At this point in time, I prefer and continue to use the EPSD1 because it's more complete and because I prefer the search matrix. However, the EPSD2 does aim to cover a wider array of terms, including geographic terms and personal names. I assure you there will be future Assyriology channel videos that will explore these websites and other online tools pertaining to Assyriological studies in far greater detail than covered in this video. Because video represents such a prolific and powerful educational tool online, the rest of this video is going to focus on YouTube channels. Another potentially useful website for learning about Assyriology could be YouTube. YouTube does, however, present some challenges with credibility. If we were to search Sumerians or Mesopotamia or something like that into the YouTube search engine, most of the results that we're going to receive are not going to be credible YouTube pages. They're going to be ancient alien theories. Uh, they're going to be various conspiracy theory pages. They're not going to be credible sources. In general, we want to look for YouTube channels that are affiliated with universities, museums, or other accredited institutions. Now, I realize this is an ironic thing for me to say because my YouTube channel isn't affiliated with any such institution. 
However, there will always be some exceptions. My favorite YouTube channel by far is the Digital Hammurabi channel. I highly recommend after you listen to this video going over and checking it out. My favorite content on there is probably the Sumerian lessons, which you can go over to the playlist section and listen to them in order. Dr. Josh does an excellent job and ordering them in level of comprehension. Um, they start off pretty simple and then they get pretty comprehensive by the end of the playlist. Um, the channel has a lot of other really great content as well. It has readings of Sumerian texts and myths. Uh, Megan has a wonderful, wonderful reading voice. Um, it's just, it, I, I can't go on and on enough about it. It's just a real pleasure to get to listen to her read the, the Sumerian text. Um, the channel also has a lot of really good interviews and live chats. Uh, the two are wonderful personalities. And then they also have a seriologist come on as guests. Uh, there's interviews with Dr. Jeremiah Peterson from the University of Pennsylvania, who does the ancient uh, text modern scribe uh, tablet recreations. Uh, that's a wonderful interview. Then there's also an amazing interview from Dr. Gina Constantinopoulos. Um, I highly recommend listening to that interview as well. Um, just after you listen to this video, go over to the Digital Hammurabi channel and check it out. There's, there's a lot of content I'm obviously really excited about over there. A video series that the Digital Hammurabi channel just launched today is the uh, Seriology Today series. Um, this I'm incredibly a concept that I was intending to eventually work towards doing with this channel, but it's already covered by uh, Sarah and E.L. from Brown University to PhD students, which are both really delightful to listen to. They sort of do a new style presentation where they go over all of the topics that were covered in the last month in that Agade email list that um, Jack Sasson sends out. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. Um, it's a, an email list that a seriologist used to keep in touch with what's going on in the field. Um, and then they also go over things they find just scouring the internet and they do a wonderful job. Um, I was I was really excited about the first episode. They're going to continue to do monthly episodes, and I look forward to seeing next month's. The British Museum YouTube channel features a video series called The Curator's Corner. On it, a seriologist, Irving Finkel, has really been on a roll in creating wonderful content. One video features an overview of ancient demons of Mesopotamia, Another video walks through the practices of necromancy and how to summon a spirit into the skeleton of the deceased to speak with the dead. Another channel worth checking out includes the YouTube channel for the Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago. This is another YouTube channel that features videos of varying formats. Most noteworthy to me are the interviews and lectures given by scholars. In the last year, the channel featured interviews by Robert McCormick Adams and Gil Stein. A year ago, there was a lecture given by Susan Paulus on the channel uh, called Debt's Crime in Prison, Daily Life in Babylonia. That was really enjoyable and informative. Uh, two years ago, there was an interview with Robert Biggs and a lecture given by Andrew George called Be My Baby in Babylonia. I still think of that lecture every time I hear the song at the end of the video. You'll, you'll know what I, I mean if, if you watch the lecture. Um, the channel has a video, uh, a lecture by Gil Stein called Sweet Honey in the Rock, Honey, Bees, and Beekeeping in the Ancient Near East. This video is really interesting, uh, both from the perspective of, of an enthusiast of Ancient Near East studies and somebody who's interested in beekeeping. Uh, but it's, it's an interesting video. Uh, the YouTube channel also has good audio lectures that uh, you can put on similar to what I, I'm hoping to do with this channel um, in the background and just listen to it kind of like you would a podcast. 
Uh, there's an audio series that has a talk by Erica Reiner uh, called Hollowed Herbs that talks about herbalism in ancient Mesopotamia. Uh, that was a super fascinating lecture, um, as well as it, it has a lecture from Samuel Noah Kramer, which is really cool to get to hear, you know, Samuel Noah Kramer, the AKA the father of Sumerology, get to hear his voice. That was pretty cool. The Cambridge Archaeology YouTube channel contains a number of videos which are relevant to enthusiasts of ancient Near East studies. Most noteworthy to me is the film that Cambridge produced. It's, it's a recreation of the story, The Poor Man of Nipper, in a film format. Uh, this is the only true to history ancient Mesopotamian period piece that I'm aware of. It's, it's really good. Uh, the channel also has a number of videos that are featuring behind the scenes and how the, how the film was created. Uh, there's also interviews with the seriology students. There's a, a video which kind of gives you an idea of what it would be like to, to study a seriology at Cambridge. Two very noteworthy lectures over at the Penn Museum YouTube page are given by Dr. Stephen Tinney. The first of which is on the Anzu bird, which is a mythological bird from Mesopotamian lore. The second of which is about the god Marduk, and his relationship with the city Babylon. As I mentioned on my recent video on the 2019 ASOR convention, most of the presentations are either not filmed or if they are filmed, the videos are not uploaded and made available to the public. Three up and coming YouTube channels that were just launched this year include Elkane, Persia and Babylonia, and Ancient Near East Empires. Elkane stands for London Center of Ancient Near Eastern Studies. Their YouTube channel launched about seven months ago with six videos, all of which are lectures from Assyriologists. The first one is by Assyriologist Andrew George, who I mentioned earlier in this video. The second one is by German Assyriologist Cameron Zand, who is a scholar that I'm a huge enthusiast of. He, he is the scholar on a Amessel. I highly recommend his paper on a Amessel as, as well as his lecture on the Alcane channel. The Persia and Babylonia YouTube channel is really unique. Thus far, it has a three-part series that features a walkthrough on how to use a new online tool called ProSolab that I would go into more detail in this video with because it is relevant to the content of the video if I were more familiar with it. Um, I myself have to spend some more time on this tool. Uh, it looks like a really useful resource for looking up ancient Babylonian texts, but like I said, I, I have to spend some more time familiarizing myself with it before I can talk about it at length. A YouTube channel that I'm really excited about is the Ancient Near Eastern Empires YouTube channel. This YouTube channel was launched by a seriologist, Jason M. Silverman. Um, it's, it's a really exciting prospect. Thus far, the channel only has one video. It's a, a video on a uh, Lego replica of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Um, cool video, but I'm really excited on seeing what uh, Jason M. Silverman does with the channel and future content. Those are the major channels that I would recommend checking out that exclusively pertain to ancient Near Eastern studies. Um, there's several other channels that have good videos on ancient Mesopotamia, but maybe they don't specialize in just ancient Near Eastern content. They have various ancient history content or even just various history content, and they happen to make a video about ancient Sumer or the adjacent regions. Um, if you're interested in seeing a comprehensive YouTube playlist of all of the videos that I'm aware of and I have enjoyed over the years on ancient Mesopotamia, go over to the playlist section of this channel. I've put together a pretty comprehensive playlist titled Ancient Near Eastern Studies. Uh, the video, the playlist currently has 300 plus videos and it is growing. That's going to conclude this video, which is a very brief and very limited overview 
of only some of the online content that I feel will be appealing to enthusiasts of ancient Mesopotamia and those interested in ancient Near Eastern studies. I'm tempted to make this video significantly longer and more comprehensive as there are far more online tools, websites, YouTube channels, etc. that I feel are appealing. However, I am trying to make my videos shorter as from what I read, in general YouTube videos like the content to be around the 10 minute mark or under. And as my viewers may know, most of my YouTube videos have been around the 21 minute mark thus far. If you have opinions on how long you like YouTube videos to be, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the Assyriology channel. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, please let us know why in the comments section below. Hit the subscribe button to see more videos on ancient Mesopotamia.